Shook it up. Good morning, lovely people. Today is Thursday. It is the 22nd of November. Today is Thanksgiving, but we don't celebrate it here in the UK, so it's just a regular old day. I've just fed the dogs, I've had my shower, hence why I look kind of together. And I'm just about to have my vitamins, so I will be having some zinc, some selenium, some dim, which if you don't already know, is an estrogen binder, so it helps with the appearance of cellulite and other excess estrogen problems and I'm gonna have it with some Ribena and then I've also got my collagen in here and I'm gonna add some coffee to that and have that. It is just after 9 a.m. I'm gonna go and walk the dogs now. Today is back and biceps day in the gym and what is my fringe doing? Just a regular day. I'm waiting on an ASDA delivery as always once a week I get my ASDA delivery to my house because it's convenient guys. I find that I don't overspend when I go on the website. I don't kind of buy things that I don't need. Whereas when I go into a supermarket to get one thing, I come out with 10 things. So for me, it just um, prevents me from overspending. It saves me the time of walking around a supermarket and I can just do it on my phone while I'm watching TV because I've got the app. So if you're in the UK, Asda, Tesco, Sainsbury's, they all have online delivery service and it's really convenient and they always remember your favorites so this is not a prom paid for a promotion i just have always done online delivery because i find it very convenient i do love going to supermarkets though it's my guilty pleasure anyone else when you go abroad you just love going into the supermarkets lex calls me a loser because i love going in and just having a mosey around the supermarkets and looking at labels and things like that i know sad old but i do enjoy it it's my guilty pleasure. Okay, I'm gonna get on with the day, take my vitamins. As it's winter, you should definitely be taking maybe a vitamin C as well to help boost your immunity through this cold weather so you don't get colds and flus. But I'll probably have to invest in one of them as well. I find that the zinc and selenium help with my immunity. And uh, I'm just gonna take them while I'm talking to you. But definitely, winter months, you may need some extra vitamins and supplements just to keep you peppy. I'll check back in when I'm having my breakfast because today is a full day of eating for you guys. The Asda delivery has arrived while I was out and I'm just going to take you quickly through some of the stuff we have gotten. I get these protein thin bagels and these protein thin sandwiches from Warburton's and they have like a little bit extra protein in them so for one of the bagels it's 8 grams protein and for one of the thins it's 7.4 grams protein and they are just lower in carb and just really handy for a lunches. You have these oppo cheesecakes, the raspberry and the vanilla. They actually subbed the lemon one for the vanilla and I actually prefer the vanilla that's why I usually get the lemon because I usually leave them for Lex for dessert got some double cream for Lex for in his coffee, some dark chocolate chips and these options, hot chocolates. If you're in the UK, you will have seen them in the supermarkets. The Praline ones are amazing. They taste like Ferrero Rocher and they're just good for that sweet tooth late at night. We've got some whole milk for Lex, some um, reduced fat squirty cream for on hot chocolates for on these bad boys. Then we've got some free range medium eggs. I always go for the free range eggs. We've got some Oatly, the barista blend, which is perfect for um, oat milk coffees. Um, we've got some Ribena. I've just been trying to add some more flavor to my water to encourage me to drink it. We've got the Kvarg, which you saw in my, late, my previous video. Um, I've got some of this Rubicon spring water. Again, I'm just trying to get water in rather than drinking Pepsi Max all the time, trying to be a little bit healthier, and these taste really good. I've got some of the Hovis Nimble Bread, and I've been using these for toasties. I have gotten a toasty maker, and I will show you that later for lunch. I've got some sweet potato mash. I also have regular sweet potato in the pantry, but I just like to have these on hand. They're just convenient for dinners and then some of the classic mash. Now the classic mash has more butter in it. Per serving it's 7.7 .7 grams fat so they're more for Lex for dinner time. Asparagus. I just love asparagus guys. It just tastes so good in the oven. 
bit of salt and pepper, a bit of the fry light butter spray and it's delicious and you're getting some vitamins and health in there. Getting more mushrooms because I love me some mushrooms. We've got some carrots, I've got a whole free range chicken from Asda and normally I get this from Muscle Food but I just wanted it now and I'm not going to do another order until Christmas from Muscle Food. So I wanted this for the weekend to have a nice roast chicken dinner. We have some of these Warburton's, I clearly love Warburton's half and half rolls and um, I just use these for burgers there's only 23 grams carbs and at least they have a little bit of wholemeal in them rather than just being a white bap then I've got some reduced salt gravy granules you'd be surprised at how good the macros are on gravy granules so per 100 and you're not going to be used 100 so for a portion it's only 2.9 grams of carbs and these are reduced salt so it's only 0.32 grams of the salt in these and only less than 0.5 grams of fat so guys don't give up your gravy you can still have gravy on your meals so we have some baby plum tomatoes again i use these in salads sandwiches persimmon are in season right now i quite like them just to add to a fruit salad i've got loads of red onion because i pretty much add them to everything pink ladies because they're my favorite and then we've got some raspberries strawberries hummus some streaky bacon for lex because he has the higher fat diet and then some ham yes i love me some baked ham and i'm going to have that in a toasty later with some healthy cheese and then we've got the full fat cheddar for lex for in his toasties so even though lex and i are on completely different nutritional intake i still am able to balance it out and make meals not too complicated because i'm sure if you have a family there's a few people with different tastes different um, intakes if you've got like teenage kids they obviously are like ravenous all the time and you have to have more food in for them and obviously if you're a woman and then your husband or your partner is on a higher fat or higher carb intake you can just adjust the meals so me and Lex eat the same meals and I just add in little things for him subtract for me and it's that easy so just don't over complicate it if you're on a diet and the rest of your family aren't you can still cater for everyone in the family so I'm in from dog walk as the delivery is put away before my dog walk I forgot to show you that I had one of my car cake muffins and that was just to start off my day I don't like to walk around on a completely empty stomach so now it is 11 minutes past 11 and I am going to have some oats because it is so cold outside I lost feeling in my thumbs because I didn't have gloves on and it was freezing so this is what I'm having to warm me up for breakfast so we have a big bowl of protein oats. I have 30 grams of oats. I have 50 gram of the um, egg whites, 15 grams of protein powder, and then I've made it so chocolatey delicious with these dark chocolate chips that have all melted in. Yum. So I'm gonna enjoy these. I'm gonna watch some Gilmore Girls. And then I'm gonna go hit up the gym for some back and biceps. I'm also gonna try and paint my nails because they're looking a bit natural and shabby. We want them to look sleek. And then later tonight, Lex and I are going to go and see Fantastic Beasts. The new one is out. We haven't seen it yet. We haven't been to the cinema in Shrewsbury yet. So that is our plan for later on this evening. He's gone to Black Country Barbell to do some deadlifting tutorials. So check that out if you're into that kind of thing. I have gotten myself some lovely roses and I just like to make a note to any men who are watching this who have a wife or a girlfriend at home, go and buy her flowers. Not because it's Christmas, not because she's done anything special, but because you love her. Go and buy her some lovely flowers and make her feel very special. She will be super suspicious, but just go do it. It's a nice thing to do. No woman is going to fight you over some nice flowers. So I'm just sitting having my pre-workout meal. I'm having a coffee with the skimmed rebel milk that I showed you in my previous video. You can get it from Muscle Food and it's really good, dairy free and just organic, nothing bad added. Then I've got a tasty little pink lady, it's quite a small one, it's one of those kids ones. And I have a slice of banana bread. This is my fudgy banana bread. I've just put it in the toaster and put some of the grenade hazelnut spread on top. If you have not tried the grenade hazelnut spread, 
it's dangerous I have to admit now I've only got like 10 grams on there and it tastes so good so good delicious I've also painted my nails feeling a little bit more girly I like to go for the dark colors and I'm gonna eat this drink the coffee go hit up the gym, get my workout done. So I just dared to go into TK Maxx just to pick up a few pieces of Tupperware because all my Tupperware since the move have lost their lids. I went in and I came out an hour later with two huge bags full of stuff for Christmas and uh, so I have to go to the gym now because I want to get back to walk the dogs at four. It's now half past two. But I think I'm going to have to get a coffee. There's a drive through Starbucks on the way because I'm feeling a bit woozy. So I think I need a little bit of pepping up because my pre-workout coffee is definitely worn off now. I might get a mocha just to get a bit of sugar in before the gym. And then hit up a back workout. <laughs> in from the gym, unpack the car from my overspend in TK Maxx. I have fed the doggies. We're gonna go for a walk now in a minute, but my priority right now is to feed mommy. So we have purchased the best item ever that should be in every kitchen. It's a toasty maker and it has interchangeable little things here. So this is for the toasty. There's also a panini press and a waffle maker as well. So um, I'm just gonna make this. It's a cheese, ham, onion, and tomato toasty in nimble bread. I'm gonna have that and then I have to walk the dogs before it gets too dark because it's already, the sun's already gone down. It's gonna get super dark. I have like little lights for their colors so that I don't lose them. But I need to do that but first food. In my face. Toasty is ready. You can see all that cheesy goodness. Oh, it's steaming up the camera. And tomatoes, onions, ham. I'm gonna enjoy this now and then bring that one and that one out for a walk. These little lights, I got them on Amazon for the dogs for when I walk them in the evening. So you can just click them. They have like a little click. And then off and you can just clip them to your collar it's just really handy yeah isn't it babies now i don't lose you got a pink nose from the cold i'm in and as i said i just picked them up on amazon if you just look up dog collar lights they'll come up 
and they come with spare batteries there's six of them in a pack and it's super handy because i was getting a bit worried on the walk when i couldn't see roxy because she's so dark sometimes she blends in with the ground so uh, i don't know what my fringe is doing it's just cold um so i think i'm gonna have something hot to drink like a decaf coffee or a tea because i don't really like drinking too much caffeine after about 3 p.m so decaf it is but i need to be warmed up because i am in chili mm. i'm just gonna have a quick snack before i make dinner in about an hour if you haven't tried these before oh my god they're so chocolatey and even though it looks like a tiny pack there's actually loads in them and the macros on them are really good so for a pack it's 3.6 grams fat 8.3 grams carbs one gram protein but they're super chocolatey and tasty so i'm gonna have these and i'm gonna answer some emails because i've been putting it off all day and then i am going to make dinner i have my popcorn but i'm still hungry so i'm having some numble bread toasted with marmite and as promised my decaf mocha i just put 6.5 grams of the options hot chocolate in and it really does taste like a mocha mm. dinner soon i'm all about the food today full day of eating all about the food nothing is hidden showing you everything snackaroos so it is 6 45 and i'm just about to sit down and eat my dinner i'm just going to take you through what i'm having right now so we have some southern fried diced chicken from muscle food i fried that up in some of the fry light spray in this frying pan we've got some oven roasted asparagus some oven roasted brussels sprouts because it's that time of year guys they are just perfect and yummy just with some simple seasoning i fried up some mushroom and leeks and added some of the eat lean spreadable cheese just to add some flavor. And then we've got some sliced sweet potato that was done in the oven yesterday and I just reheated it again in the oven just to make it that extra bit crispy. Enjoy that now with some of this slim sauce. It is so good. This is the spicy garlic flavor and it is so full of flavor, so amazing. I get it from Muscle Food and it was my first time trying it and I just love it. It's one of those kind of like zero calorie sauces. I don't know how they make it, some kind of magic, but it tastes so good just with dinner, chips, whatever you want. And it's guilt free. So I'm gonna have that now. And then hopefully Lex will be home. He has done a whole day at Black Country Barbell and he's loving it there. So if you go on, if you've been watching him on his Instagram stories, you'll see that he went and had some kind of crazy steak meal, but it's not available now on his Instagram stories, but make sure to watch our Instagram stories because we do share meals throughout the day that we may not share on our YouTube. And I am currently doing physique updates kind of every day, every second day, just to show you guys how I'm looking, even though I'm not super shredded, but it's more of a realistic goal for you guys. And I also recorded a physique update, which I will put in at the end of this video. I did it this morning because I feel like in the morning I'm less bloated. In my last video, I kind of had a bit of a bloated belly because I did it in the evening time. And in the morning, I kind of have a flatter tummy. And just to show you the difference between morning versus evening, because you will weigh heavier at night. You're not going to have the abs that you had first thing in the morning when you're slightly more dehydrated. So don't get too concerned about weight gain at night you should just always look at yourself at one time of the day and that's the best comparison okay, i'm gonna go and enjoy my food before it gets cold i gave the puppies some peanut butter about five minutes ago and they're still currently <laughs> do you have peanut butter on your face bailey it's delicious for them and entertaining for me so I'm just gonna have my dessert, which is like a healthy dessert because I like to keep things healthy. Sometimes it's not so healthy. So I'm balancing it out because today's gonna be healthy. I'm having one of these Kavarg, the chocolate chip ones. So I can't pronounce that word. What is it? Stracciatella? Stracciatella? I don't know, it's Italian. But it means chocolate chips. No fancy words here. So I'm gonna have one of these because the macros on them are amazing. It's only 0.9 grams of fat, 
5 grams carbs and 17 grams protein. Yes, they are packed full of protein. I'm going to top them with this. It's like the cocoa crunch that I get from Sucrin. And I'm just going to put 15 grams on top. And then that is me for my... I like to add the crunch in. And it's like very artistically done. Very complicated. Nigella, eat your heart out. It's just pure food porn right now. Oh yeah. Crunchy, crunchy yogurt. Kind of makes like a, a crunch corner, except a healthier version. And there you have it. My masterpiece of a healthy dessert. So we are still waiting on Mr. Lex to come home. Um, I think he's having far too much fun, to be honest, today. But, you know, we'll let him have a little bit of fun the odd time. And I'm going to enjoy my fake dessert. And then, probably gonna have an early night. We were meant to go to the cinema, but Lex is not back, so we have missed the late, the later, the latest showing that I'm willing to go and see because I'd fall asleep if it was at 10 p.m. Anyone the same? Anyone can't watch movies or invest your time in TV after a certain time? Because that's me. I'm a proper sleepy poppins. I sit down, I relax, and I fall asleep. So most shows I watch after about 9 or 10 p.m. I sleep through. He's back. Where have you been, Lex? I have been training like a madman all day. Filming new strength and conditioning stuff at Black Country Barbell with the boys, which will be a weekly occurrence. <laughs> we talk about such nonsense. You would appreciate it. It's a release of my nonsense talk. Oh, good. So you don't have to worry about it. He's now fixing my car keys because they were having a kind of a hissy fit earlier and didn't want to open my car. And you had a hissy fit and rang me. No, you would rang me and I said it to you on the phone. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I actually didn't know. I was just kind oh of thinking, God. what am I going to do? Man, I need your help, man. Because I'm female and I can't do clickety clickety things. I didn't know how to open it. Hashtag triggered all feminists ever. Yeah. Right, so look, do it work? It was working earlier when I pressed it, so it should be working. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Good. <sighs> Do you want to say goodbye? Man! Shit, what? Hmm? Say goodbye to my oh. subscribers. Oh. Do you right. think that you've deserved to be for the day? Subscribers, say goodbye to my lower jaw. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. Wait, is this That's the end right. of the video? I'm only little. This is giving people perspective of my size. Yeah, you're a bit of a midget. Oh, Lainey's gone. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to go have a shower again. I stink. Oh, you don't smell the last. <laughs> oh! <laughs> smell vision and that concludes today's video check back in next week with you guys any biscuits cuz if i only had a hundred fans i take them out to dinner talk about the people that we used to be if i had a hundred fans i am the parents ain't nobody paying i'll be buying the drinks and we would party and we would dance and we would throw up our damn hands until they turn Oh.